Hello YouTube, this is Unpunished. I am back with you now with the final part of my 5870 Triple Crossfire X setup. And here it is, in all its glory. Three 5870s in Crossfire X. And I had to make a lot of modifications to just get this setup completed. I had to move the power supply up, because the power supply in the bottom was blocking the third GPU and it couldn't fit. So I put the two fans right there to compensate for the fan that I took out here so that you can actually see the three graphics card. I had to chisel a hole for the last slot of the last 5870 in the bottom so that it'll go in to the back. So actually this is exhausting inside the last GPU. So that's why I had these two fans in the bottom. They're not on right now because it would be too loud. So took me about five hours altogether just to get this all set up let me know if you guys like it it looks clean the reason why I'm back so quickly too is because look I decided not to paint it it was too cold outside the paint wouldn't stay on properly so I'll just do that in the summer I just wanted to just see this uh, setup in action so here is where all of the updates come in and I'm just gonna let you know one by one Good and bad, mostly bad, so here it is. So Crossfire X and Ifinity do work with the new 912 drivers, catalyst, and also the hotfix. So they do work. Performance wise, it did not perform as good as I thought. Actually, it performed probably just as good as that 15970 had installed. And it's it was the frame rate was not that not as good as I thought also so we're just gonna go through one stage here and it was still still performing the same I wasn't uh, see as you can see there's some lag too so that's one uh, one thing I found, but Triple Crossfire X does work, giving it improvements, not so much. Maybe it does, I'm just being stupid, but from what I saw and from what I um, experienced, it didn't look like it was even improving it at all. So. What I'm going to conclude from that is that the Ifinity and Crossfire X together is still a very new and young technology, especially Ifinity still just came out, right? And there's probably a lot of bugs still for ATI to work on and that's pretty much uh, given we're all new technologies. I should have waited but I just wanted to show you guys. So the Crossfire X and Ifinity not that great. Um, not a lot of people probably doing that they always just want to benchmark with one screen but I wanted to take advantage of all three screens so driver issue now probably just because it's very immature and with the future driver release is probably going to be a lot more optimized and it'll probably run a lot smoother so that's one one thing that really disappointed me um, Another one is this middle screen is connected to the display port and when it was setting it up it was turning on and off and flickering some points and I f first I assumed it was a video card so I uh, flashed all three video cards with the latest uh, BIOS so it fixed a problem so I thought uh, it didn't flicker or go black and white, but what I found out is it still does go black and white once every five or six minutes. Right now it's not doing that, but when I play a game, it does. And what I read in the forums, it could also be, most likely now, it's the D Active D Display Port adapter that I bought from Dell. Could be defective, so. With that, uh, so many problems I had to fix. I had to uh, troubleshoot. So those are, those, those are the two things. The only one I could really solve is the DisplayPort adapter. I could get a new one. 
but in terms of three GPUs, 35870s working together in Crossfire with Ifinity, uh, right now I would say not worth getting, not yet optimized and not yet uh, working properly without bugs. So if you're thinking about doing Ifinity and Crossfire, maybe wait it out a little bit. So I am just deciding now what I'm going to do is keep this set up or wait and bear with some of the bugs or put back my 5970 and just stick with 15970 or try Crossfire later but if I experience a little problem here I don't know about two 5970s now so um, that leaves me with what the hell am I gonna do with these video cards I might keep two or just keep one and sell two so you guys if you guys can help me out and let, help me decide on what the hell I'm gonna do now with the current situation of the drivers, the not so great improvements, and the active display port uh, malfunctioning. So you guys let me know what I can do or what I should do because I'm really having a hard time deciding on what, what the outcome of this setup will be. So thank you guys for watching. I will post another video up sometime soon. Uh, to let you guys know what I decide to do and give you guys an update on my other computer which I'm gonna work on sometime tomorrow so if you guys have any comments or questions post them up on the wall below thank you guys for watching unpunished out